Well, we'll read again this one. Okay, a male's allergic rhinitis, cold, congestion, chest and sore throat improve in six months. Salam, dear Dr. Ferris. With this experiment, as we suddenly entered cold season, as usual, I caught cold and congestion in the throat. I was suffering from chest sensitive, which is abnormal cardiac sensitivity. I was previously having congestion causing sore throat and shifting to the chest. I had to take antibiotics twice daily, but after using the hot water therapy for the last six months, around six months, my condition improved and I didn't take any antibiotics. For the last three days, I caught a strong cold for, due to heavy cold season as suddenly the temperature dropped between 5 to 6 degrees Celsius. I caught sore throat. As usual, the doctor wrote me a course of antibiotic. I didn't take the antibiotic, rather, I intensified drinking hot water. The second day, the infection started crumbling. The phlegm started coming out easily, and I was cured. This excited me as I concluded this. Hot water is the most powerful antibiotic. As I was cured in around two days. Thank God uh, on this natural grace. Hot water. Thank you, doctor. God reward you richly and meet you on other experiments. Wow. A female's cough, also an Arab female, and chest improved. Stopped hot water for five months after she started doing hot water, then she stopped. Condition worsened. Back to hot water again. Hello, doctor. I was abiding with hot water for four years. And when I get cold, my chest doesn't suffer. I don't catch cough. I stopped the hot water for five months. This year, when I got cold, I suffered yesterday. For the first time, I did oxygen therapy. I went back to hot water and I will not stop it anymore. If male's sinusitis, mucus, and phlegm for 15 years improved 70 to 80 percent. Let's see what he said. He's an Arab male. I am subscribed to this channel, our YouTube channel. Truly, when I started drinking hot water, I experienced a clear difference between on my sinusitis. I suffer from mucus and persistence of phlegm because of inflammation of the sinuses with me for more than 15 years. I have tried many types of herbs and medicines and have not found any difference. Only by drinking hot water. I found a difference of 70 to 80 percent. By the way, it is a free treatment. Glory be to God. Fabriques, a male get rid of chronic summer fatigue. Let's see what did he say, an Arab male. Dr. and Professor Ferris, first I thank you for the effort and time you devoted to spread this science that I was ignorant of and your words are sound logical. And I say this about my experience. Now that it has been weeks, I have been drinking hot water and I get an indescribable feeling. I become strong and not tired like before when I do physical exertion. I will fight cold water in the summer. It is an enemy of the body as it causes the fat in the body to freeze. Now I learned the cause of extreme fatigue in the summer because of the cold water that deceived the human and gave him a sense of coolness in his body. But in fact, is harmful to the body significantly. 
I do not exaggerate and say this talk about his experience proof and ideals. Say no control until you try. I do not exaggerate when I say that you have given me supernatural energy that cannot be described by knowledge. My respect and appreciation to your dear professor and accept my best regards. So, what would you say? Are you going to stay numb, deaf, and uh, blind? Will you stay arrogant and hard to listen? What is your experiment? What is your now role? Why don't you move forward and start with the Bika Du principle and see by yourself and experiment? Why mostly we see is Arab speaking people who believe. Does it mean that health, the true health, the ultimate health will be from the East exported to the West. But we are here in the West, we are in the United States of America for the past five years because we believe on the technological transfer, we believe on the system here to conduct clinical trial. We believe that the knowledge and the exponential growth of technology can help also to conduct this clinical trial. And we believe that those mega pharmaceutical industries, they can now accept this evolution to start to invest in wellness projects. Otherwise, let's go back to industries that have collapsed. Look at the coal industry. Coal industry, the coal was used to run trains, uh, heating the houses. It used to be a rich industry. Where is it today? It has collapsed. But those organizations, those investors, those companies, entrepreneurs who were owning the coal industry, the moment they started to realize this evolution of the new industry, those who were smart, they started to pull their money slowly and put it in the new industry. This is the, what we call the evolution. When you having your industry, don't put your grips and hold hard because you will end up collapsing because somebody else is going to come with a new technology and the client we will say, I don't like this, I like this product. It's not about competition, it's about accepting the evolution into a better world. The world is improving and getting better day by day, year by year, decade by decade, and so on. So this is the beginning to start to invite pharmaceutical industries. Thank you for investing billions in the pharmaceutical industries. But what will happen when humans say, I don't want the vaccine, I don't want the drug? Will you force people? You just watch yourself and collapse. And today is a different world, world of freedom of expression, freedom of, you can see what's happening to the world, freedom of even sharing information, freedom of even taking a sh video or shooting a, an incident, any incident, you shoot, them, you shoot, see what's happening to the world. The freedom of even choosing leaders, choosing who are the ones to be in the forefront of every part of the society, whether academic, whether politic, whether any field. This is the world we live today. It's a better world. So the same thing, freedom of health, is now happening already. That people are fighting, they say, no to vaccine, no to drug, I don't want, I don't want to let my life to live. Because somewhere, somehow, Either they have a phobia because of themselves or somebody from their relative or family or friends or best friends. Like what happened to my mother who has been suffering for 35 years. 35 years. 10 surgical operations in her stomach. 7 in Africa. 3 in the United Kingdom. She passed away with ovarian cancer. My own mother. 35 years, with those years of suffering, you can imagine every two to three years and four years she has to be readmitted in the hospital. What will happen to you if it's that's your mother? Many of you are watching, are watching this. They have loved ones where they can see them suffering. We see rich people. We see notable people. We see scientists. We see 
in many fold the notable people they have the money they have the power but when it comes to health somewhere somehow they suffer with a chronic ailment you may see they have somewhere somehow hypertension diabetic cancer and other chronic and some of them even more than one and some of them for many years so what will you say why don't you come and embrace this new evolution because it's happening it's unstoppable nobody will stop it it's happening because there are many prominent physicians and doctors and scientists who are now revolting like for example dr f batmangelish the iranian american scientist like albert zent georgi the hungarian biochemist nobel prize winner hungarian american biochemist like andrew taylor still the founder of osteopathy and osteopathic medicine and the first college of osteopathic medicine in united states of america look at other prominent figures who are medical doctors look at andrew whale look at many many of them who now revolt to say enough is enough i'm not going to prescribe the drug and some of them even patients who are more open minded to say I'm not going to take this drug it's my choice I'm not going to take this vaccine it's my choice you can't force me it's happening already most especially with this pandemic the fourth pandemic corona that struck the world since 2003 and go back to history pandemics have struck the human being this evolution came to rescue the world impact every human being on earth with the best health pems health physical emotional mental and spiritual thank you so much and have a wonderful day please like our video if you like it subscribe share to your loved one and your connections write your testimony send us in our email as you could see there attach your medical checkup before and after if you want it or write your report anecdotal evidence whatever contribution do not stay there just to be by yourself we make a better world through your support and your contribution thank you so much and have a wonderful day bye bye